Hello everyone. Today I'm going to truly wrap up the seven abominations, the six things that the Lord hates, and the two bonus abominations with one verse. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Which means they will either choose death or life. You will either choose death or life by the power of your tongue. And this summarizes the abominations of the Lord. If you notice, these weren't necessarily actions that were done necessarily physically, but these are things that can be done with words. So there are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are abomination to him. Haughty eyes. Haughty eyes is simply a look, a lying tongue, words, and hands that shed innocent blood, words, campaigning for death, a heart that devises wicked plans, words again, feet that make haste to run to evil, which can be is what we view and talk about, aka words, a false witness who breathes out lies, words, and one who sows discord among brothers, words. Do you see that? Six of the seven things were all things that we can say. The power of our voices is what hurts people. It's what kills people. And then with the bonus, the things are akin to abomination to the Lord. He who justifies the wicked, you, you can do that with words. And he who condemns the righteous, you can do that with words as well, are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Words have power. That old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's not true. Words will kill you. Words will send you down to prison. Words will cause little children and teenagers to commit suicide when they hear enough negative words. Mer words will break your self-esteem. They will shatter you as a person. Words will demote you. They will get you fired. Words have power. And just as the Lord says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Everything relies upon His Word. Words have power. Just as He said, let there be light, and there was light in the heavens. Let there be this, let there be that. As He created things, He used words to create things. Yeshua used words to create things. And now here we are. We have words. What will we do with our words? Will we build up people? Will we tell our children that we love them? Will we tell our wife that she's beautiful? Will we, will we boost people up with our words? Or will we just be careless and throw them around? Will we use them for entertainment? Will we shoot them out like it doesn't matter? Just spit out words. Say something. Or will we stay quiet with our words when we know things are wrong? What will we do with our words? As Yeshua Jesus says, Matthew 12, 36, I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. Every careless word you speak, the Lord will make you give account for it. Why did you say that? In one instance, in one sentence, a man can ruin his marriage. A woman can ruin her marriage. In one sentence, a father can destroy his daughter, can destroy his son. In one sentence, a worker can lose their whole career. They have power. As Yeshua Jesus continues, Matthew 12, 37, for by your words, you will be justified and by your words, you will be condemned. I don't know about you, but I want to be justified by my words and not condemned.
I want to tell you things to build you up. I want to lift you up. And I don't want to hide the truth. I don't want to leave out things of the word. I want to give you the ultimate word and make sure that my words are based upon it. So out of the seven abominations and the two bonus ones, I think the things that we need to learn most is that our words count. Let's not skew things. Let's not change things. Let's speak up on things and let's not talk meaningless foolishness that hurt people. Let's not gossip. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for showing me this emphasis just by teaching others, Lord, how important my words are, how important my look is. My, do I have a haughty look? How is my persona going about? There, these things all matter. There's a spiritual realm to all these things. And thank you, Father, for creating everything. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for your words. In Yeshua's name, we pray. Amen. Goodbye.